So I have a lot to talk about with you, a lot, a lot of things. So we definitely have to talk about Gamora, the finale. Okay. 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 Hi friends, I'm Kara. Welcome to my brand new talk with my friend Salvatore Esposito. So today we are breaking down the Gamora season five finale. I mean, we go into detail and he shares some secrets, answers my questions, and we analyze a lot, including Shiro and Jenny's relationship. We talk about what happened on the beach. We talk about Azora and Pietro, the future of the characters on the show. We talk about the history of the characters on the show, including Donna Ima, Don Pietro, Patrizia, and more. This is a good one. Now, if you have not yet seen the season five finale, this is not the segment for you, but there is a segment for you. It's part two of this talk where we have no spoilers and Salvatore shares his thoughts about love and life, friendships, who you can trust, who you can't, how he's totally different from Jenny Savastano, and one key similarity. So if you'd like to watch that first and then come back after you watch the finale, go for it. I put a link in the description below. Or if you want to watch this one first, you can watch that one next. Now let's do it. Okay, so let's talk about Gomorra. So I thought, okay, after it ended, I thought it was so good. I mean, I was so devastated, but it just felt right to me. So when I heard your voice the next day, alive, <laughs> and not, not gone, it was such a relief. I was so happy. <laughs> Number one, did you know that was going to be the ending all along from when you started? Um, when I started with season five. With season one. No, from season one, no. Think about this, that at the end of season one, Jenny is going to die, you know, from the original script in the season one. At really? the end, yeah. Yeah. So what happened? Um, they, they changed their mind, or probably I let them change their mind, you know? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, we know uh what will happen just at the end uh, at the beginning of um uh season five what will happen at the end of season five so because we're working season happen. by season yeah uh -huh. oh i didn't know that okay so you never knew all these seasons all these years you had no idea what was going to happen to jenny yeah perfect okay it's That's crazy but it's... how'd you feel about the ending um, you know, uh, I always say it's like um, the end of a relationship, where at the beginning you are happy because now you are free, you can do uh, everything you want, you can go everywhere, you can uh, feel free, you know. Uh, but um, there's an half of this uh, coin, you know, uh, that um it's not easy because uh, after seven uh seven years five season with the same character with the same crew with the same cast uh a lot of us are friends you know and it wasn't easy but uh we have to move on this is our life this is our job so um, i have to create uh different characters have to create different life and and i hope that one day uh, i will create a character uh powerful like jenny in, uh, in gomorrah yeah so how would you describe the story of jenny uh jenny after the Honduras in season one, uh, I became that the most dangerous people uh, in in uh, in Naples with Chiro. Uh, together are very very dangerous, and they kill a lot of people during five seasons. And uh, they just feel each other like brothers. Then 
uh, enemies, then friends, then, you know, again, enemies, because they are connected. They are connected with this uh, kind of uh, venom, you know, uh, the power, the uh, the blood, the they they wanna uh, they wanna be the one, you know. And I think that the end of season five is the the answer at the question about mob life, uh, gangster life. Uh, what's the results about this life? Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like exactly what it had to be because that's the reality of it too. It was so sad, but it was also kind of beautiful that Jenny, Jenny and Shiro were there on the together. Like nobody, neither of you outlived the other. It seemed right. It was sad for Azura. I was really hoping that Jenna and Azura would would break away with Pietro and it would be okay. You could go legitimate in business. I thought it could happen. I wanted that to happen. It didn't happen. But probably Jenny wanted to, but uh, wanted to, but um, it's it's not his destiny. Mm -hmm. It wasn't his destiny. So, um, like, like you see at the end on that beach, Jenny understand during uh, the last episodes and the last yeah, I think the last two episodes that uh they will never be happy uh so he sacrificed his life and shiro's life for to give to azura and pietro a different life without enemies without them uh because it's he he knows he's a savastano he's cursed you know uh, there's a, a curse on him and everyone will always uh try to to kill him or to kill uh, his family and he knows that so uh, i think that they made the only um the only like human things that they <laughs> did in our life so. so was was shiro planning to let jenny go like all along yes yeah yeah, we just want to show him yeah. how that uh, that venom, that life, just want to kill them. Right. Uh, because both of them, uh, if they want to kill each other, they will kill him. They will kill each other, uh, Chiro and Jenny. But I think that they want to just to um, prove that um, they love each other and there's nobody uh, that can kill them uh, they they make a suicide uh, going with just two guns against uh, that that people you know uh, and they know that they know that so jenna was not going to go in the boat ever was he planning to not go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Those, because yeah. You, you know, I think I think that in that moment, me like characters, I I I think that um, if in that place again they uh, they come for to kill them uh, when they are just like this to the to the to the peace to the another place. Uh, he he understand that there's no chance for him. So he says, you know, he gives the gun to the to the man on the boat. Yes. Uh, because he know that. I saw that. And he says, look, this is not my life. I can do that. Go go far, go away. You yeah. have the money. You have everything. Um, and they know each other. Jenny and Shiro, that it's hard to survive in that on that beach. Okay, will Pietro come back? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, it, it, <laughs> I think that we have to <laughs> to wait a long time, a long time, because it's it's just five or six years old. So yeah. 
But Who I knows? feel like there's no way that he is not going to want to come back there. And I don't know what, but he's going to feel drawn to Napoli to do something. I'm not sure what. That's my prediction. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because it's... Um... This is this the the last one was the last season for yeah. everybody, and then like uh, you know like the Sopranos or like Breaking Bad, uh, everything can happen. But who knows? So what's around your neck? So you have the chain with the rings on the neck. So whose rings are they? I was trying to think. Was it uh, Dona Ima? Was it Shiro? It was Shiro and his wife, right? Was just the two of was them. It's that, what you took from yeah, him in the beginning. Was the one that Shiro gave to to the guys in the gulag. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And they gave it to me. Okay. So what were the? I don't know if you're gonna remember what I'm talking about, but I think it was in season maybe four. There were rings on the um, in the what's it called in the cemetery. Yeah. Where yeah. The, it's the one. What was that? Is the one is the one that they found in episode I don't know or three or four of season five when they opened the, the the casket of Don Pietro and they found the ring. It was the Patricia's ring. Oh, it was Patricia's ring. Aha! She put Got it, it. Uh, on the casket before after Don Pietro's death. Oh, that's right. Because they were in love. I forgot. Okay, that makes. Thank you. Oh, it's been bugging me. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. So you said, so what you said before about how it's hard because you've been with all the actors. So do you keep in touch with any of them, even the ones who haven't been on for many seasons? Like, tell me about your relationships. Everybody wants to know, I'm sure, if you if you really keep in touch with, which I know most people no. don't. Yeah, yeah. We have, we have an amazing relation between me and Marco. Ciro Di Marzio uh, with uh, Maria Pia Galzone and she plays Donna Imma, Don Pietro. Uh, we have a very, very good uh, relation. We, we call each other, we, we talk a lot. So uh, there's a very, very good relation and me and Marco are like brothers, real, uh, for real. So that, I think that's why it wasn't easy to, to go away from that season. Um, fr from that uh, series, but as I told you, this is life. Uh, I hope that one day we can work again together. Yeah. Um, and he was the director. He directed a lot of episodes this season and last season. Yeah, right? in that season, uh, I think six uh, of ten. That's yeah. a lot. So yeah, was yeah. that weird to be directed by him? Like, was that or was that no, kind of cool? No, it was funny. It was funny. Yeah, yeah. It was funny because there's a, a, a very good relation between us. Um, uh, we, we love to talk each other. We love to um, to understand what's what's good and what's not good about everything. No, no, it was it was really great. Yeah, you can see it. You can feel it. I feel like you can feel it on the show and you can feel it when you when you post little videos on Instagram. It's nice. You can <laughs> see it. Our, our funny videos. Yes. You know, they're in Italian. I have no idea what you're saying, but I just know it's good. It's all good. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we need subtitles. We yeah. have to we have to say to, to Instagram to put subtitles. Exactly, exactly. So um okay. But Keep, you, are, want... you you told me last time that you will improve your your Italian. I've been practicing. I ah, have okay. I've been practicing, okay. but, and I've been doing it recently a lot, knowing also I'm going to talk to you again. I'm like, I have to do it, do more. And I love it, but the verbs are killing me. The conjugating the verbs, it's so hard. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. Difficile. Che difficile. Oh, difficile. <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so that's going on. And then uh, I saw it. Did you also get a, now you have an agent? in the u.s right did you always have a u.s agent yeah 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 i always yeah oh, it's okay. just you know i think it's three or four years that i have an agent and a manager in l.a and i meet them uh, uh two weeks ago in l.a 
Um, we are working on next project in US and I hope to give you some some good news uh, as soon as possible. We will see. Um, That's too soon to say. Yeah, we will see. Okay. 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 That's good. That's very good. Yeah, so is that the great. New York is that the reason you may come to New York? No, 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 oh. no. It's just for no 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 no. It's just for, for fun and for to meet people in New York and LA because right now the situation it's <clears throat> It's not easy as well, you know, for to meet people, uh, do generals and, uh, you know, go out with producer, directors. It's not easy for the COVID. But uh, I think in a, in a couple of months, everything will be will be more easy and, or I hope so. And uh, so that's why I say that probably I have to come back. But yeah, we have to wait. Yeah, I know. It's so hard. I hate the fact that it's so hard just to see people like it's not like you can still go out and see people. But I also feel like everything. It's too easy for everybody to get on Zoom. Also, <clears throat> Do you know what I mean? Like it works for us. We're on different parts of the globe right now. But I feel like people it's too easy. You know what I mean? You know what? <clears throat> I think that this COVID um in a way uh, make the distance more l less you know because right now we are talking in on a zoom call and probably uh if there's uh, there wasn't the covid uh I, I don't know if we will meet in in new york that's true but with the COVID, <clears throat> you send me a message, says, look, I, I'm at this, you want to come, uh, blah, blah, blah. And we are here. So I think that with the COVID, uh, we, we understand that we are more near that we can uh, always think about. Uh, but I hope to, to come in US and meet you uh, in person because it's another thing. It's life, it's, you know, um, yeah, this is good, but it's not the best. So exactly, exactly. Like that's what I I love. I love this. It's great. It's definitely better than nothing yeah. by far. I love it. You know, I was looking forward to this too. It's so great. I was like, oh, I'm gonna talk to <laughs> Sasa today. It's gonna be good. Uh, but I also just I just love being next to people you know like in the same yeah. room where you feel each other's energy and it's like just a different thing so how was it to fly to la though like was it tricky with the it testing was, and stuff? it was it was totally <laughs> crazy really really totally crazy because um uh we have to do the the um, the stop in uh, newark yeah. And yeah. after a nine hours fly from Rome, then I have to took my baggage, doing again the, doing again the, Security. the checking. The mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's crazy, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And then six hours for to do new work, uh, Los Angeles. It was so. It's far. That's part yeah. It's, I, it's I not just far. It's hard because next time, my next time, I will do the the. The first stop in uh, in Europe, because it's more easy to do it. I, I I will do, for example, Rome, London, and then London, Los Angeles, because you you just have to do two hours of flight from Rome right. to London, and then you can do the 10, 11 hours of sleeping or watching movies, but yeah. you don't have to do step checking baggage three times. It's it's freaky. Right. And you're Jenny Savastano. They don't give you a special like a, a fast lane. <laughs> <laughs> they should. Does everybody recognize you when you're out and about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it depends from the place, but most of the time, yes, a lot of people knows me. It's funny because there are some comments on our earlier videos on our interviews, and a lot of times I I read, I can't believe a. 
Jenny smiling. Like, it's so weird to see Jenny smiling. And B, <laughs> like, he is the nicest guy. And it's so true. Like, it, you know, so different from your character. So most people, at least in the English comments here who are watching my show, you know, they're like, they had no idea you speak English so well at all, much less this well. And then just the fact that you're such a great, wonderful human being, people Thank love you, it. It's so great. So I would think <laughs> when you. they are they when they see you, are they scared of you or like what? How are they with yeah, you? At the beginning, at the beginning, yes. And you know, some people uh, <laughs> can feel a little bit afraid of me, uh, but if they know me. Um, they know that I'm I'm a quiet guy, I'm a a big quiet guy that just want to uh, be happy, and I I don't want that nobody touch my family, or I can become like Jenny, or you know, I can be more dangerous than, mm -hmm. than Jenny, you know, right, um, right, because I give. Mm, a lot of love to my fans, to my family, uh, to everybody that show me love. But if you show me hate or if you put in danger my, my family, it can be a problem. So are there some people who have done that? Like, have there been no, do you have stalkers no, no, and no. things? No, 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 for sure. No, you're lucky. No, no, but it's it's. Yeah, I'm lucky, but because probably I told you they they know that I'm a quiet guy, but I always can be dangerous. So they they right. they don't try, you know. That's right, and they, that's right. They're scared of you too because of who you are on screen. That's not a bad yeah. thing. It's, you know, it's like the WWE. Don't try this at home. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's good. There's more with Salvatore in part two. We talk about love, family, how he's totally different from Jenny Savastano, yet there's one key similarity. So that's part two with Salvatore Esposito. Just look at the description below and you'll see a link for that segment. I also have another juicy talk with Salvatore that we had the first time we met. We get into everything from Italy to New York and Los Angeles. We talk about Fargo and we talk about pizza, pasta, learning English, learning Italian, like all of it and it's so much fun. You're going to want to watch that too. I put a link in the description below. Oh, and in part two, we also talk about his feelings on a few TV series that Gomorra has been compared to, including The Sopranos and Sobora. So stay tuned for that.